Hey Claire. Hello everyone. Claire, thank you for a chance to talk about the book. Here's how it started. In the summer of 2011, I got an assignment to profile the new president of the New York Public Library, Anthony W. Marks. I thought it would be a typical magazine profile. It turned out, as I soon discovered, that Marx and New York Public Library had embarked on a colossal transformation plan that would result in the demolition of the historic stacks at 42nd Street, the removal of three million books from those stacks, which would be sent to Princeton, New Jersey for off-site storage, and the sale of two prime libraries in Midtown Manhattan. This was called, I discovered, the Central Library Plan. I wrote the story in The Nation, broke it, in late 2011, and for three months, absolutely nothing happened. Uh, in the spring of 2012, to my astonishment, Garrison Keeler read my piece and did a spoof uh, about NYPL on the Prairie Home Companion, and a controversy was born. A number of writers and intellectuals and uh, theatrical people got involved, including Salman Rushdie uh, and Susan Sarandon. The New York Times went on to do 50 stories about this controversy for the next two years and a group of activists came together to form the Committee to Save the New York Public Library. A turning point came in late 2012 when the architecture critic of the Wall Street Journal, Ada Louise Huxtable, did a beautiful demolition of the Central Library Plan in the Wall Street Journal, and it was her last piece. She wrote it on her deathbed, and she died a few weeks later. Uh, my book, uh, Patience and Fortitude, will be a fast-moving account of all of this, I will show how one of the world's great libraries got into the real estate business and lost its way in the digital age. I will also show how Wall Street executives basically took over the New York Public Library's Board of Trustees. And I will show in great detail how a group of activists and bookworms and architectural preservationists came together to defeat a plan that would have been a catastrophe for NYPL and for New York City. Thank you so much for listening.